Good evening, Victory Tribe. Welcome to Victory Now. My name is Christina. So, uh, the first thing that I want to do is tell you that there's sort of two titles to this. About being thankful and where is your focus. And there was a little bit of a twist on that because we're so often we're hearing about how we need to be thankful unto God, which we do need to be thankful unto God. But the Lord brought me to how many times the Apostle Paul addressed the churches with thanksgiving for them. So I'm just going to start reading some of that. In Romans 1.8, he says, First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you. And he says, because of your faith in him, and because your faith in him has been noticeable through the world. So I want to ask you, believers, are you living your life where your faith is noticeable to the world? And then in 1 Corinthians 1.4, he says, I always thank my God for you. He says, for the gracious gifts that he's imparted unto you, and that you belong to Christ. And then Ephesians 1, 15 says why he's thankful. But in verse 16, he says, now listen, he says, I have not stopped thanking God for you. And I pray for you constantly, he said. And he goes on to say what he prays. Now think about that. The Apostle Paul, those of you who read your Bible, what a busy man he was. Yet he was praying constantly for the saints. And then he, uh, let's see, and then in Philippians 1.3, he says, Every time I think of you, I thank God for you. So being thankful, what are you th- focused on? Are you focused on the things that distract you all the time? Are you focused on the things you're not happy with? Are you focused on the things and the people in your life? Are you focused on the things that you're not happy with them? If you are, here is a good example of being thankful for the people in your life. The people that you may not even know. One of my prayers is a lot of times, uh, more so in the past, and I'm getting it back now, is thank you, Father, for the people you're going to bring into my life that are going to make a difference in the destiny that he has for me. And that doesn't always mean that the people that come into our life are going to be uh, necessarily even pleasant to us or somebody we would really want to be with. But be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful for the opportunity to love like God loves, to give like God gives. And to share his word. Even if you don't speak, let your presence, let his presence in you show that Christ is still living. Okay, so I wanted to say that it's very easy in this world to get clouded in our soul, which to remind you is your soul is your mind and your will and your emotions. And wow, am I an emotional person? And that is later after my emotions have calmed down some. But I used to bring my kids up quite emotionally, which caused me to make some mistakes. But God's grace has kept them and us loving each other and forgiving each other, which is so important. So it says in Romans 8.12 that we are released from the dictates, the obligation to go according to our emotions, to go according to our mind and our will, if it's contrary to God's will, if it's contrary to God's word, and to go against our, we don't have to go with our flesh. So um, it's an act of our will to choose to be thankful. It's an act of our will to give God praise It says in Philippians and Thessalonians to thank God in every situation because this is the will of God for us. Not 
the trauma that's coming our way or the discomfort that's in our life, although sometimes he does make us uncomfortable. Um, but to thank him, it's his will for us to thank him, to praise him. When Paul and Silas were in the prison, they praised God, and they didn't just praise God under their breath. They praised God out loud, where the prisoners and the guards heard them. And then God, with his mighty power, it created an earth an earthquake, and their chains were broke loose, and everybody around them got saved. So it's very important, very important to keep a thankful heart. Is it hard to do? Sometimes it's very hard to do. The other day, something was very difficult for me to say, and I felt the Holy Spirit and my spirit inside me saying, you need to say it. You need to say it. So I made myself say it, and afterwards I said, wow, that was really hard. But it's not impossible because we have Christ in us. Which brings me to that. Remember John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. And as much as possible, I want to give the opportunity whenever I'm with somebody or now that if you are a believer, remember what Jesus did for you. Always remember. Because it's so easy, there's the word focus again, to lose focus and to not be thankful and to grumble and gripe. And the Bible has a lot to say about not doing that. Those of you who have not receive Jesus Christ. That scripture is for you. So if you haven't received Jesus into your life, well, this is a good time, a good time in your life to very seriously consider to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, to receive his love and his sacrifice for you. And then you will have that supernatural ability to live life differently to live life more thankfully, to live and treat people more kindly. Jesus said that if we love the brothers, if we love one another, the greatest commandment is to love God with all of our heart, with our whole being, and to love each other as Christ has loved us. Well, we can't do that in the natural. We have to have Christ in us in order to love like Christ does the people that he brings into our life. And so, um, I think, oh, and so this is, this is really toward the end. I don't have a whole lot more to say. I uh, wasn't real sure where God was going to go with all of this because it was different for me. But I also want to thank God for you listening, for taking the time to hear the word, taking the time to listen to Victory Now. And also, I want to thank my pastors for allowing his people in his body, in the body of Christ and in his congregation, to have this opportunity to share the word. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So I do hope that you all have a great day and take the words that I've spoken into your heart for the Holy Spirit to remind you to stay focused and be thankful. In Jesus' name.